Hello, my online viewers. My name is Daniel Mutiso, and I will be taking you through Public Finance and Taxation Section 2. Uh, today, we are going to be talking about employment income, where we are going to be looking at other, um, other computations that we need to know the ways, uh, to, uh, uh, the other computations that we need to understand uh, based on the, how the CASNEP normally takes the exam. Now, I want us to go straight away to a question of uh, uh, June 2013, question number 1B, uh, where we have been uh, tested uh, any qu the question relating to employment income. So I want you to know, uh, I want you to know how, f for example, you can be able to tackle uh, this type of question when it comes across in an exam. Now, uh, the question reads, Dennis McCulley, Dennis Obiero, sorry, was employed under a five-year contract um, with a provision of a uh, payment of 600000 as compensation in case of termination of contract before five years. Pull stop. The contract was rem uh, remitted, or terminated, sorry, after three years on that far December 2011. It was paid on the same date, the amount agreed as compensation. You can see that Dennis Obiero uh, was, uh, uh, w w w w w uh, he was uh, uh, required, uh, for example, the contract says that um, if it's going to be terminated, then it's going to be compensated. You can see during the year uh, 2011, his contract was terminated uh, to cover for the remaining years in the contract. Now, we have been told, on 1st April 2012, he purchased six houses through a mortgage. He, he rented out uh, the six houses for 45000 uh, each per month from 1st April 2012. Uh, the good we received for each house was 250000 uh, shillings covering a five-year period. I think everybody has, um, he, everybody has um, an experience related to rent. And you can see that uh, when you are going to be uh, getting in a new house, you have to pay the rent together with what? Together with the deposit. In this case, the deposit is going to be used at the goodwill uh, of the business because you can see that um, majority of us, we normally like not to pay for the last period, for the last month before we shift to the other house. So that this, uh, this goodwill is going to be used uh, to cater for such issues. And also, if you destroy the, uh, the, uh, the landlord premises, also you are going to, uh, this amount normally used to cater for damages. Uh -huh. So the, uh, the two amounts, they are going to be used as a uh, rental income uh, when you are going to be computing the rental, the taxable rental income of uh, Dennis Obiero. Uh, the following expenses were also incurred in the year 2012 in connection with the houses. Then we have the land and ground uh, rates of 1.2 million per, per annum. Then we have watchman's wages amounted to 56,000 per annum. Then we have plumbering services and repairs amounted to 40,000 paid in August 2012. We have construction of five extra toilets at 50,000 each in October 2012. Then we have insurance premium for each house amounting to 10,000 per annum. We have the mortgage, mortgage interest at 250,000 per annum. We have the cost of furnishing the houses amounting to 600,000 per paid in November 2012. We have the cost of rent collection of 5% of gross rent paid to the agent during the year. Then we have the cost of petitioning or petitioning sorry some of the houses amounted to 80,000 paid in August 2012 then the additional information we have been told on 2nd January 2012 Dennis Obiero was employed by Uduma Safi uh, hospital uh, he reported the following details of his employment income of the year 20, uh, that far December 2012 Good. Uh huh. Number uh, basic salary was two point five per uh, per annum. The pay was seven hundred thirty per annum. Then we have the company car where we have two hundred uh, two thousand cc, whose initial cost was one point five million. Three quarters of the car usage was for uh, official duties. Then number three, we have been told. Not number three, we have house allowance of thirty thousand shillings per month which was paid until 30 June 2012. On 1 July 2012, it was provided with a fully furnished house by the company. Uh, the cost of the furniture to the employer was 450000 uh, The market rental value of the house 
uh, is 45,000 and 5% of his basic salary was deducted to other end. Note number two, we have been told that during the month of September 2012, he was sent on official duty and provided with uh, a daily allowance and provided a daily allowance Provided with a daily allowance during the month of September 2012, he was sent on official duty and provided with a daily allowance of 8,000 uh, for 25 days to cover uh, the cost of the accommodation food. Uh, we have number three. He is a member of the House Ownership Saving Plan where he contributes 25,000 per month and the employer contributing are 10,000 shillings per month for him. Then number four, during the year, his wife was treated at Udum Safi Hospital at a, at a cost of 80,000 shillings. Half of the cost was covered by the company. Uh, this cover is only available to senior management and their families. Then the required, the taxable rental income for the year ended that first 2012. Uh, then we have number two, the total taxable income of, De of Dennis Obiero for the year ended that 1st December 2012. Then number three, we have the tax liability for the year ended that 1st December 2012. So if such question, uh, if you come across such question in an exam, this is how you are supposed to be tackling it. So I'm going to be coming up at uh, first to tackle the uh, the rental, uh, the taxable rental income, and I will start with uh, uh, writing the title. So we are doing for uh, a rental income for Dennis, Dennis Obiero, Dennis Obiero, Dennis Obiero, taxable, we are talking about taxable, in uh, rental income, rental income for the year, for the year, for the year ended. For the year ended 31st December 2012. You come up with your title like that. Then after your title, you're going to be having, for example, two columns of Kenya shillings. Like that. Then after when I write my, uh, my, my when I come up with my columns like that, then at the first thing, because I need the taxable, the rental taxable income, then it means that I have to take the income I subtract the allowable expenses of, re of rentals, then I will be able to get the total rental income. In this case, I'm going to identify the rental income. The rental income from my question. We have been told that um, Dennis, uh, Dennis Obiero, uh, he, was, um, he, he purchased six houses through a mortgage. In this case, he rented out the six houses for 45000 each per, per month from 1st April 2012. Of 2012. In this case, if we rented and um, he rented the, the six houses for 45,000 each, then it means that is the rental income. So you just take 45,000, you multiply by the months. Uh, you calculate uh, the months that, uh, for, uh, for example, you count the months from uh, April to December. Those are nine months. Then you multiply by the number of the houses, which are six. Then you take your calculator, you just say 45,000, you multiply by six, you multiply by nine, you get 2.4. Three zero thousand. Uh -huh. You continue with that information. You have been told that good we received for each house was two fifty thousand, covering a five year period. Covering a five year period. So here you are going to be having another income called goodwill. The goodwill received. He received a goodwill of two fifty thousand. You multiply by six. Six houses. So you take your calculator, you say 250,000, you multiply by 6, you get 1.5 million. So you add, so you just, you, you add by taking 1.5, you add 24,000, you get 39,000. 39,000. 39, this is your gross rental income. Is the gross rental income. Now, after that, you are going to be lessing. You just less allowable. You less allowable expenses. The allowable expenses, you can see, you have been told by the examiner that the follow expenses were also incurred in the year 2012 in connection with the houses. 
So we, we are going to be starting with land and ground rates. Land and ground rates amounted to 1.2 a million per annum. But you can see that uh, we acquired the house when? Uh, we acquired the house on April, is it? So you have to apportion. So I just take 9 over 12, I multiply by 1.2 million. You apportion like that. So you take your calculator, you say 9, you divide by 12, then you multiply by 1.2 million, you get 900,000. You get 900,000 like that. So you write your 900,000 here. Then we have watchman wages. Watchman's wages. So we just apportion also. We take 9 over 12. Then we multiply by the watchman wages amounted to 56,000 56, per annum. So you take 9, you divide by 12. Then you multiply by 56,000. You get 42,000. Also we have plumbering services and repairs. Plumbering. Plumbering services. And repairs. Plumbering services and repairs amounting to what? Plumbering services and repairs amounting to 40,000 paid in. You can see they were paid in August. So you just take 40,000. You don't apportion that because it's not covering the, the period. Then we have a construction of five extra toilets. Construction of five extra toilets amounting to 50,000 each in October. So you just take 50,000, you multiply by 5, you get 250,000. Then we have insurance premium, insurance premium amounting to 10,000 per annum for each house. So you just take 10,000, you multiply by Six houses. Then you are portioned by for the period that uh, this insurance is covering this year, and you you find that it's covering only nine over over twelve, only nine months. So you come here and you say ten thousand, which is the cost of insurance per year. You multiply by six houses. Then you are portioned this cost by by uh, twelve uh, by nine months. So you get forty five thousand, forty five thousand like that. Then we have the mortgage interest. The mortgage interest. The mortgage interest is covering the for uh, for the full year. So you are portioned for nine months. So you take two fifty thousand. You are portioned to nine months. So you just say two fifty thousand. I multiply by nine. Then I apportion by twelve months. I will be able to get one into seven five hundred. One into seven five hundred. Then the other thing is rent co collection. The cost of furnishing the houses, let us start with that. The cost of furnishing the houses. Furnishing the houses. So just say the cost of furnishing the houses here, you are being told, uh, is 600000 paid in November 2012. So the cost of furnishing the houses is 600 is it? So you, you are not going to be looking at the cost of the furnishing because we are not uh, we, we are not co concentrating on the furniture as, a, as, a, as a, the, the cost of the furniture as, a, as an allowable expense rather than we are going to be looking at the WTA in it so we can just combine 600,000 we can just take 600,000 we add what we add i can also see we have the cost of part partitioning some of the houses amounting to 80,000 we can combine then we are going to be apportioning this cost by 9 over 12. By 9 over 12. Then we multiply by, we multiply by 12.5%. 12.5%. So you just say 6, 8,000. You multiply by 9. You divide by 12. Then you multiply by 0 0.125. You get 63, 750. You may be asking myself, or you, are, you might be asking yourself, where we multiply by 
percent because we are dealing with wear and tear, the capital allowances. In this case, we are going to be uh, giving it a class four as a class four item because you can see that the, the class four is the class for all the items which does not fit in other classes. We are going to be looking at which, what the, which, what is fitting where and um, how do we normally uh, consider the rates. The other thing that we have to take into consideration is the rent collection. Rent collection. The rent collection, we have been told that the cost of rent collection is 5% of gross rent. So you just take 5%, you multiply by the gross rent, amount it to 2430. The gross rent to, to, uh, that was paid to the agent is to 2430,000. Then you multiply by the rent collection, we have been told the cost of rent collection is 5% of the gross rent paid to the, the agent during the year. So the rent was paid is 24.30. So you just say 0.05, I multiply by 24.30. You get 121.500. 121.500. In this case, I'm going to add my allowable expenses. We start with 900,000 plus 42,000 plus 40,000 plus 250,000 plus what? 45,000 plus 187,500 plus 63,750 plus 121, 121,500. 121,500 like that. Good. So you will be able to get 1649. So our total allowable expense is 16. 49,750. So we have said like that. So you are going to be getting the total, the total rental income. The total rental income you are going to be getting there. So I just take the gross rental income of 39,000. I subtract 60, uh, I subtract my answer. Getting 2280, 250. 250. So that is, uh, you, you get your uh, six marks by doing that. Then you are going to be doing the Roman 2, where the examiner wants you to calculate what? The examiner wants you to calculate the total taxable income of Dennis Obiero. We have to calculate uh, the total taxable uh, income of Dennis Obiero for the year ended that first 2012.